expected to fail. If we succeed, okay, he's doing good. But if you fail, I told you, some of us, our whole future, our family's future depends on what we do in the next three to six months. Some of us in this room might not be in society in the next three to six months. Maybe prison, maybe dead. Maybe running the streets with a drug habit because the priority don't get put in place. And I've been home going on seven years in March. And I got people in my family still waiting for that other shoe to drop. Still waiting to say, I told you, I told you he was faking. I told you he was doing this, he was doing that. They're still waiting. And thank God they're not holding their breath because they would have already passed out. Okay. I when I got released in 2000, I was, well, about 35. 35 going on 36. So most, most of my 20s were in prison. Some of us don't even know how And I have a 20-year-old son, and I wasn't a parent to him. Okay, I wasn't a good father. The example that he received was that I was in prison. He's actually followed my footsteps because, as we speak, he's actually incarcerated. So I'm trying my best, give him a better example, so that maybe now when he comes out, he sees a different role model because he's me when I was 20. How much you can accomplish. So we all know the statistics, right? Ten people get out. Four will go back within the first six months. I mean, I want to end on this note. I want one of those four. But if we stop one of those four from going back, we good, <laughs> you know? If we can just get one of those four to not go back. What's up with your grades, man? How you doing this? I look at Noah and I say, wow, you know, this is me, this is my creation. Uh, where, what, what happens with him? What, what's his life going to be like, you know? Let's see. I'm sure that's how my mother looked at me. You know, she didn't say, wow, I can't wait for him to, to you know, spend half his life in prison. You know, she looked at me and cared for me and nurtured me. But I think there's something else that happens, and we need to break this cycle. I'm a firm believer in individual responsibility, but if you look in the prison system, 70, 80% go in without GEDs. Half of those can't read or write because it's bigger than the Albertos. It's, a, it's our issue. It's a community issue. It's a humanitarian issue. It's, it's America's issue.